Hi everyone. Right, um, I'm going to do this. This is our next tutorial. Very simple, but double bow with a little bit of tassel. I've already done the flower. It's a very it's just a strip. Sew up the side, gather it together, and you get that. Put a little bobble in the middle. So that's just a basic one. That's for our newbies. And um, what colour are swans? Well, you can have black swans. You can have white swans. But in my world, <laughs> you can have any colour swan you like. So I've made this. And, hmm, yes. I'm going to show you how to make it. Very quick, very simple. It is padded, so it can be used on a bag. I haven't covered the back yet. We need to put a piece on there, which I will do. But it was really quick and easy to make. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. You can do these in any fabric. I'm going to do the next one in pink felt because I want a pink swan. Why can I have any colour you want? <laughs> But for now, we're just going to make this bow. Now I've got my needle and thread. Oopsie-daisy, not that one, of course. Where's my other needle? Here we go. Now, why have I got the wrong thread? Oh, here it is. That's why. It's on the other side, you nana fee. I moved my little thing about. Right. That doesn't sound very good, does it? I moved my little thing about. Right, so I've cut these. I've got to tell you the measurements because you'll be saying, what measurements, V? Uh, 19 centimetres and 24 centimetres. I'm going to overlap them a centimetre. And I do top over bottom. Makes, well, it makes no difference. But you need to get that in the middle. So we're going to go under the first section which hides the knot couple of tacking stitches um, make sure that is about a centimetre pull that together like I said this is really basic Wrap round a couple of times, put that back through. Uh, I'm going to do that again. And then snip that off. That's the first one done. And that's your smallest one. We're going to do that again. Just let me move the camera where you can see. Well, I can actually see what I'm doing then through the camera so I know what you're looking at. Again, pull that into place. A couple of tacking stitches. And then stitch along to the other other side, other end, should I say? <laughs> Quick as that. And then what we have to do is to put that one on top of that one. So I'm just going to dob a glue on there just to hold it. But we're also going to put a little strip in between. See if I can even that up a little bit. Like that. And I'll just get rid of that a minute. Um, now, where's my little strip gone? Well, I'm going to put a bit of white on. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. 
bit of glue on that end. Just to keep that tidy. So it's going to be covered. So it doesn't matter. <coughs> like that. A nice little bow, isn't it? And then we take our flower. But first, before we do that, well, we can put the flower on now. That's nothing. It doesn't matter. Seam to the bottom. We can put that on now. That's fine. We need a little bit of the uh, beading. I'm just going to use this one. Start small, finish small. Definitely put the glue down by the stitching. Like that. So then that will hold that stitching in place. And I'm going to do that again. We're just going to fold them two bits together like that. On the back, now this is the bottom section where it's joined. On the back, just going to add that. And then what I've got here is a piece of felt, which I'm just going to cut in more of an oval shape than anything. Like that, it doesn't have to be perfect, as long as you've got the bit covered that you need covered. Which is that. And there you go. And it's as simple as that. There's a little bit more tassel in that. They do look better with more tassel, to be honest. But they're so easy to make. Now that can go on a, uh, you know, for a hair piece. Even a, um, a bride could wear that, you know, if her hair's up in a bun and that goes at the back. They're absolutely stunning. You can add little leaves and things like that, whatever you want to do. I'm just doing a basic bow, double bow for you. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. Now, and if you type bow on my channel, you're going to find a lot of them. Now, what I'm going to do, <coughs> I think, yeah, I'm going to do a pink. Let's have a look. Where's my pink on? I'm going to do a pink one. Why not? We'll do a shabby chic swan. So I need a piece of card, which I've got here. <coughs> and I'm using the foam board because you need some strength in it. Okay. So um, let me just cut this piece here. And I have to really carefully draw. <coughs> you laugh, I will. Wait, what I'm basically going to do. Where's my swan gone? Here. I'm going to copy the shape. It's something basically like that. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut that out.
There we go. Right, yeah, that'll do me. I'm not fussed at all. Okay, dokie. So now what I need to do is to cover it with some of this wadding. We're just going to put that on there like that. Now we're just going to trim around that again. Like that. And then all I've got to do is now glue that onto this pink. But I have to leave a seam, um, a little gap. Cut that round. Now, what I'm going to do is just to chop that straight there. You'll see why. And I'm going to do the same thing there as well. Get rid of the small bits, don't need them. Now what I've got to do with this section is to remove this fluffy bit. Which I forgot about when I was doing it. That's it. Right. And I need that. To be snipped off there. And what we do, we're going to snip all the way around. There we go, and then we start, we just glue little bits at a time. Perfect, shabby chic, swan. <laughs> there we are. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to paint this beak red. We still have to have... Well, we don't. We can do it pink. Hopefully it'll dry. But I'll have to be careful while I'm working. It's perfect pearls. Now, let me just give it a good shake because it's not been used for a while. Hopefully, it will dry in time. Oh, I'm not sure if it will dry in time, but we can come back. Take my little stick. Right. Oh, that looks lovely. <laughs> See, you can use anything. I would let that dry. I'm going to have to be extremely careful working with this now. Now, um, what I need then is to do some wings, but I'm going to use some pink feathers. And I do have this particular pink feather, and I think I've got a few feathers left in this little pack as well. 
I must get some more feathers in, I must. Right, so beautiful, beautiful pink feathers. Just taking the bottom section off them. And we snip that. I need to cut a wing, I think. Do I need to cut a wing? Oh no, but do you know what I'm going to do? I've got some bits and pieces I can use. I'm spreading them a little. Cut them. A little bit of glue to hold them together. Like that. Bring that back. Just pop that there. Oh, yes. And then what I've got here. I need that that way, that's it. Is a, a feather with it's bent over slightly. Well, that's fine by me. Right. Oh, I want to make sure we can see this. I'm just going to trim this down a little bit more. A little bit of glue on it. Just to hold it together. Twist. Snip. And then we can pop that on there like that. And then what I've got is a beautiful, beautiful... Oh, I'm not sure if I want to do that. Oh. I'm going to put another feather on it first. I want to make sure it's pressed down enough. Like that. So we can still see these. Of which I think I'll put some more. Do I need them? Maybe not. Wait a minute. Let me just see. Because I don't want to use something that's too big. Because that would be silly. But this has got a pinky. Uh, look. <gasps> oh my. No, I like that. <laughs> I like it. But. Right. I'm not too sure if I'm going to. Oh, look. Oh, no. That is gorgeous. So I've got that. Right, I'm going to make my own up. You know what I'm like. And I've got one of those with a little pink diamante. And I'm going to make my own. Because I really do want it to be special. So I'm going to put this one on first. Just there. I'm going to pop this one just there and this one just there I'd rather make oh look at that isn't that beautiful just make me own up why not I love that yeah love it and we can see these as well Oops, I don't want to get that stuck. Now what I've got to do is put the eye in. And I suppose I could go for a pink bead. And I really should. Oh, we could have a diamante bead. Couldn't we? I've got those. Oh, I've got a pink one there. No. No, we need to see it. Right, here we go. Now if I've ruined this, I'll be annoyed with myself almost done almost hang on just bear with me too big too big no nope. That's going to ruin it. I'm not going to do that. Right. Okay. Well, 
I haven't got a black bead. I, well, I have, but I can't find it. So I'm going to do the next best thing and we're going to paint that on. And I also need to paint. Sorry, let me just get rid of all this strandy stuff. Right, a little bit of black paint. And we know, unfortunately, you do have to have a little bit of black on the beak area. Let's just set this right. Now, it's not finished. I have to then paint over that. I needed to get the black on. So I'm just going to blast it with the heat gun so I can go over it. Right, where's my pink? That's a little bit better. There we go. I'm quite happy with that. Let me just get a little bit of cloth here. That's quite happy with that. And there you go, my shabby chic swan. I hope that's helpful. Um, they're great. That could go anything. So this is going to be a shabby chic swan card topper. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.